One of my favorite areas to cover is cannabis, and I've been doing so basically for as long as the market has been legal. But I also believe that cannabis is really just the leading edge of a much larger psychedelic opportunity. And today, I'm going to share a way that investors can get a part of a $100 billion market for as little as eight bucks. Hi, I'm Matthew Carr, Chief Trend Strategist at The Oxford Club. Thank you for watching this episode of Market Trends. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on my best trading ideas, which I share here each and every week. Okay, so mushrooms have been consumed by humans for eons. Thousands of years ago, the Divine Farmers Materia Medica, one of the foundational texts of Chinese wellness practices, described the health benefits of fungi. But beyond Button, Chantrell, Porcini, or Portobello, we also all know that there's a magic mushroom variety as well, the psychedelic kind. These are so ingrained in our collective psyche that I bet we all picture the same image when hearing the words magic mushroom. White stalks with red caps and white spots. This is the pedestal for fairies and pixies that's pictured in everything from Alice in Wonderland to the Smurf. Humans have been chomping on hallucinogenic mushrooms since roughly 9,000 BC, but these offer more than just trips. They are actually a living medicine. Unfortunately, like cannabis, mushrooms or their active ingredient, psilocybin, have been demonized. But also just like cannabis, those attitudes are changing with states leading the charge on decriminalization as we rediscovered that these mushrooms and their active compound could be vital in treating various mental illnesses. In October 2018, the FDA gave the thumbs up to use mushrooms or psilocybin to combat treatment-resistant depression. And the agency fast-tracked a second psilocybin treatment for depression a year later. But this is only part of a growing number of psychedelic medicine trials that are underway across the country. And one of the first areas they're proving to have the best effect is one of the most devastating. You see, depression is the leading cause of disability worldwide, and it's a major contributor to the overall burden of disease globally. For instance, in the United States, the annual cost of depression is more than $200 billion. Not to mention depression can lead to suicide. More than 800,000 people around the world take their own lives each year. Even worse, we have TRD. So for many people, antidepressants and counseling can help ease the symptoms of depression. They can manage the illness and live what we'd call like a normal life. But for others, these simply don't work. Not only does this impact their quality of life, but it's also a financial burden as there's a constant need for tweaks to the treatment. So just in the United States, TRD patients face med medical costs two to three times that of other major depression sufferers. But here's the truly staggering figure. It's estimated that almost a third of all major depressive disorder patients suffer from TRD. To put that into perspective, that means there's 100 million people globally living with TRD. So that designation from the FDA is a huge step forward, not only for psychedelic medicine, but also for these patients. Now in 2020, I said, no matter who won the White House, cannabis would be the big winner on election day. And that's exactly what happened as we had five states uh, expand their legalization markets. But we also had Oregon and Washington DC decriminalize magic mushrooms. That added to Denver, Oakland, and Santa Cruz that had already done the same. Now, Colorado activists want to introduce a statewide decriminalization initiative next year. We also have bills introduced in California and New York. So we're at this tipping point for the industry. And it's going to be a very profitable one as the psychedelic medicine market is projected to ramp up in size. In 2017, the global market was $38.1 billion, but by 2025, it's expected to be $78.7 billion, a 106% increase. And then from there, it'll top $100 billion. That would make the global psychedelic medicine market larger than the entire U.S. cannabis market, which... I predict forecast at $80 billion by 2030. So this is a great opportunity. Now, this is a nascent industry, all right? So Compass Pathways is the largest pure play 
and its COMP360 drug is in clinical trials. This was the company that received the FDA breakthrough designation. Shares of Compass Pathways trade for around $45, and it has a market cap of about $1.6 billion. We have other players in this space, like Mind Medicine, with a market cap of $842 million, uh, Celos Therapeutics, and Field Trip. But the great thing for investors is all of these can now be captured in the Horizons Psychedelic Stock Index ETF that trades over the counter here in the United States with this symbol HPSYF or NEO uh, in Canada, PSYK. This ETF launched at the end of January and holds 17 psychedelic medicine stocks. Even better, it trades for less than $8. This is a great way for investors to get exposure to what will be a booming psychedelic medicine market for a very reasonable price. And the opportunity is beyond just depression, but also psilocybin and these other psychedelics can be used to treat anxiety, PTSD, addiction, and a whole host of other uh, mental illnesses. What we're going to see is a growing number of states decriminalize psilocybin and other psychedelics in the coming years. Already, that ball is rolling. And I believe that this is an opportunity similar to what cannabis was a decade ago. So investors looking to score big on this new wave of psychedelic medicine, Horizon Psychedelic Stock Index ETF is a fantastic play to start and gives you a broad-based uh, exposure to this industry. Well, I'm Matthew Carr, Chief Trend Strategist for The Ox Club. Thank you for watching this episode of Market Trends. For more information like this, be sure to go down to the description and sign up for my free e-letter. Until next time, here's the high returns.